Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Continuing with our React and Django series. In today's video, I'll walk you through the API structure which we are going to create with the Django application. So giving you a brief on the previous video, in the last video we have seen how we can configure and create folder that is a media folder which you can see over here to use as a storage point for your assets like images and videos or whatever you want to use as a multimedia file in your Django app, right? And moving forward with the API structure, currently the folder structure which we have in here is a basic media folder, which we have configured in the previous video, a backend folder, which is your main app and a DB, which is an SQLite 3DB and manage.py, our main file. So let's get into the API structure and what we want to achieve uh, through the APIs. So let's look into a doc which I've created and walk you through the entire folder structure for our APIs as well as the current scenario. Over here, you can look you can see the main current folder structure. So we have a main backend folder and within that we have a app which is backend. Uh, the second one is the media folder. The third is the DB database file and the last is manage.py as you can see over here. So I just recommend you guys to stick with this folder structure to avoid any errors in the future or uh, as this project grows and we keep on adding more and more apps and modules to it it will get more complicated as the folder structure might be quite confusing over here sometimes but i uh, suggest you to stick to this folder structure and i'll also share the code for this in the description as a zip file so based on the part of the series i'll to provide the zip file in the repo. So please do unzip and make sure if you have lost anywhere, please get in sync with it. So currently we have this folder structure. What we are going to create in this video is an API app, which will carry all the uh, main apps such as categories, users, products, payments, such as. So these are our all apps which we are going to create in our app which is this uh, main backend folder right so let's get back to the doc and uh, this is our uh, current folder structure and what we are going to achieve in this folder is this so the main purpose of the api app is to serve the react application which we are going to use as a front-end framework to provide all the functionalities using api so this api app will act as a standalone application so whenever you want to change the front-end framework to a react or something like hb view angular etc you can do it without any hassle so uh, currently what we we did in the basic structure was we are serving everything from this main backend uh, of app right but we want to move all the api functionality from that to the api app and uh, dividing the entire api app into several small apps such as categories orders users product and payment so all this uh, in individual apps will be easy to manage when it comes to scalability and uh, usability etc so this is what we are going to achieve in this uh, video and let's get uh, right into it so the code editor which i'm using in here is vs code so i recommend using this and i think it is a uh, good to have and uh, let's get into the commands now to create an app in django you just have to provide the command django uh, admin 
and make sure you are currently in your main backend folder so this is my backend folder and i am within the backend folder it might be a bit confusing because i already have a app which is my backend within the backend folder itself so don't get confused there are basically two uh, folders the main app is the back my backend and the second is my backend app right so make sure you are in the main folder or whatever folder which you are using to uh, create your app so navigate to that folder and within that you can type django admin start app and make sure you create a app known as api right so we are going to create that right so api is the command and uh, as you can see we have a api folder or the app which you can call it as over here with few things already uh, provided by django itself so migrations is something which it provides admin panel apps models test views these are all basic functionalities which django provides to create your models and functions how your api will uh, provide data you to your front end and etc so these are something these are things which will be uh, taken care of in the later part but for mm, for this session we'll just keep it pretty simple it should be just the folder structure so yeah we got our api app so through this we'll manage all our api endpoints and serve it to the react framework right now this api folder has been created but within that we are dividing the api also with several other small apps which is categories orders users product and payments right so let's create that also now make sure you navigate to your api folder and create those apps right so let's hit the command django app and let's create product uh, then let's create user let's create cat category then let's create payment what we have in here is orders right okay now we have uh, divided the api app into sub categories of apps such as product users categories payments and orders right we have also created those now let's check in the api folder as you can see we have all our uh, sub apps within the main api app as shown over here so we have a categories with its own functionality with views and models and etc so this all models and views will be discussed later but uh, let's keep it simple for this we have order same the payment with same product uh, users and yeah etc so if you have if you know the basics of like django what are models and views it basically provides you the data or the routing uh, functionality like within the urls and then from there you can uh, proceed ahead but i'll not talk uh, deep into it let's keep it simple again we have migrations as well but uh, these are more uh, like when we apply it to the main uh, backend app which is this it will be very useful so we have uh, created all the subcategory apps within our api and uh, i think we are good with this in the in the next video we'll be looking into more about api routing for our main api app which we have created in this video right 
so we are doing nothing we are just creating bunch of apps and the command for this is this uh, django admin start app and the uh, app name so this is pretty simple and straightforward we have just created categories within the api app and uh, we are keeping uh, this until now in the next video we'll be looking into some api routing in the api app itself so the code for this will be available in the description so if you have any questions queries or concerns regarding this you can definitely hit me down in the comment section below and uh, yeah this was it for this uh, video guys and thanks for watching